Okay, you're like, hey, this auto former encoder paper looks cool. I want to use auto correlation in my model. How should I do that? You go to the GitHub and you're like, okay, auto former GitHub, cool. They published the uh, code, cool, cool, cool. And you just go to layers. You just go to oh, auto correlation pi. You go here and you're like, okay, cool. Uh, raw data. You just take all of this. You copy all of this, you put it into your layers pi, you're like, okay, uh, you check this, you're like, wow. So they have two components, they have autocorrelation and autocorrelation layer. So you see that they, in input, they have queries, keys and values and attention masks that never used as in a paper, right? Queries, keys and values also right and they never use attention mask here so i guess fair enough so we need a little bit of uh, config values magic numbers as i love to call them so dimension of our model like feature dimensions number of heads batch size and the sequence length because we work with sequences right the signal we're trying to predict the signal and all of this. We construct the config and we construct some dummy data. Today I will generate some batch size, the sequence lengths and some of the dummy dimension. And we construct some small model. The first part of the small model is the autocorrelation, this big boy. So to construct the small model, we use the factor. It just uh, some number is one used for top k predictions and uh, attention dropout mm -hmm. just a dropout and uh, output attention yeah we want to output attention and then two variables that never used so i will skip those <laughs> next step is to define auto correlation layer it use auto correlations that we defined before and two variables from our config the dimension of our input and number of heads and the keys that also never used but you can actually use them if you want but who cares so next we just propagate through after correlation layer we can check it really quick so we pass uh, queries keys and values but it's the same thing right it's 3x three, three so we just map them because yeah where is it so it's just linear layers so we map them and then we pass them through inner correlation right so and it works cool right but how to interpret this i'm not really sure uh they somehow interpret this in a paper yeah they have these cool graphs where they told like hey uh look at this yeah, where is it? Yeah, look at this, the sparse attention, uh, but I have no idea how they make it work, because they didn't provide code for that, so yeah. Uh, yeah, that's all. Now, now you can use inner correlation layer, congratulations. Uh, next part will be how to actually train the, this model on like some data and maybe another video I will publish the theory behind the autocorrelation and how it works. See ya!